Many consoles have shipped with pack-in games, uh, but the Astrocade's pack-ins are packed in so deep, they're actually built into the console. I think I can reach them through the cartridge slot. Ah, uh, nah, I can't get them. I wish there was a way to access them externally. <gasps> a controller! So yes, the Astrocade has built-in software, consisting of a couple games and a couple non-games. Let's enjoy them vigorously, starting with the games, since they are at the top of the list. Uh, first up is Gunfight, which is a color home version of the 1975 Midway arcade game called Gunfight. This is a game where two guns battle it out while dragging humans around as extra weight because guns just move way too fast on their own to be controlled easily. The people act as a kind of ballast, uh, but, no but nonetheless, this is a two-player game. Uh, you pick the maximum score and then start shooting. Each player has six shots, and if both empty their guns without hitting the other player, the round ends in a draw. The objects in the middle of the screen vary as the game progresses, and object variation is always great fun, uh, with cactus and trees standing there, with the occasional stagecoach rumbling by. The Astrocade gives excellent control because you move with the stick like you'd expect, uh, but you twist the knob to aim, so you can move and shoot in opposite directions. Uh, while there are no different game modes, Gunfight is still a fun two-player game. Next is Checkmate, which sounds like it would be a game of chess, but it's actually a snake-style game that utilizes the console's four-player capability, uh, which is one of the great features of the Astrocade. It's probably better playing against humans, because uh, the computer is pretty easy to defeat. There's no options besides setting the score needed to win, but the game does play pretty well, uh, though you do have to anticipate your moves a bit, as occasionally the input seems a tiny bit sluggish. I like the wash of 8-bit sound created as the players move about the screen. The notes change depending on which way your character's moving. I suppose I wouldn't mind the action being a little faster, and in fact if you select zero players, you can watch the computer play by itself and it moves at a faster pace. Like Gunfight, Checkmate is short on options, but I think it's still a good pack-in title that shows off the four-player potential of the console. The next two built-in bits are not games, but they are nice, so they're still appropriate topics for my channel. Calculator is kind of like an electronic number crunching device of some sort. It can add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers. It includes 10 memories and can scroll back, I believe, 92 rows so you can go over what you did. It can also, of course, do percentages and negative numbers, which appear in red. I am a lucky person to have access to such computing power. Not everyone can be so fortunate, so if anyone needs a couple numbers added or multiplied, uh, go ahead and post below. Uh, just keep it simple, you know, two numbers, uh, nothing too big. The final program for the Astrocade is called Scribbling, and this is a drawing program. You have a few different brush sizes to choose from, and it's actually playable by up to four people. Scribbling really shows off the Astrocade's 256 color palette, which was really impressive back then. You can adjust the background and three drawing colors by using the keypad, and I'm sure that people with skill and patience could create something great with this program. But the most fun for me is entering zero for the number of players, which causes the Astrocade to create a non-stop changing pattern of coolness. And you still have control over the colors, so you can join the Astrocade in creating beautiful computer art. And just for fun, let's layer some sound from Checkmate over this. This sure is fun. Actually, I, I do think it's fun, and even though they're all pretty basic, the four built-in programs on the Astrocade are actually pretty worthwhile. Okay, maybe you wouldn't have much need for the calculator, uh, but Scribbling is a neat diversion, and Gunfight and Checkmate are solid little multiplayer games. The built-in software does add value to the console, so that'll make it easier to put down the cash for one when you go buy it at your local Astrocade dealer, which I wish still actually existed.